Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. It's a little more dramatic over there. So Cameraman and I, on a fairly regular basis, I like to believe, deliver you the most extreme gaming setups that we possibly can. We've done pretty much everything. We've done, even this, we've kind of done it before. We did 3D Vision Surround back when NVIDIA first released their driver. So we used three 3D Vision ready LCD monitors. We used the 3D Vision glasses. And we were like, look at this. This is a pretty cool gaming experience, right? And then all of the internet trolls were like, whoa, it would be great if it wasn't for the bezels. Well, I have arranged for us to bring you a demo with no bezels. We are going to be using, with this brand new GPU from NVIDIA, more about that in a minute, three 720p 3D Vision Ready projectors to show you guys an image that I actually don't even know how big this is diagonally, but it's huge. Look, here's me for scale, okay? So this is me, that's how big our image is. We are bringing you the ultimate gaming experience courtesy of NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround with triple Acer projectors. So a cameraman's gonna hand cam it, which he very rarely does. And I'm gonna tell you guys all about the GTX 590. So this is the fastest graphics card NVIDIA has ever made. One of the most impressive things about it is how quiet it is. It actually uses a central fan similar to their uh, actually, we're going back a few generations to the 7900 GTX, which was a flagship quite a while ago, and used a central blower design fan like this. It has dual vapor chamber coolers, so if you look inside, I hope you can see in there. Can you see in there all right? So it has dual vapor chamber heat sinks, one on that side for that GPU, and one on the other side for this GPU. It actually has a unisync under the fan, which you can see here. It's got some like heat sinky things going on there. Okay, and then that is responsible for cooling not the GPUs, but the video RAM, the uh, voltage regulation modules, because it takes, I mean, this is a powerful card, and it's going to take a fairly decent VRM in order to deliver the power that it needs. On the back here, you can see we have some heat sinks. Under there, you're going to find some memory chips, so the total amount of memory on this board is actually actually three gigs, yes, three gigs of video RAM on a desktop product, which is pretty cool. It features two fully fledged GF110 chips. So these are the same GPUs that are running in the GTX 580. They are clocked lower, although in my overclocking endeavors, I have been able to get performance of the single card pretty close to the performance of dual GTX 580s. You will need a fairly beefy power supply. So I wouldn't be running a card like this on anything less than probably a 650 watt power supply with dual 8-pin PCI Express connectors, and I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the video card except for this. Check this out. So right here, that is what makes the magic happen. That is why we are finally able to support NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround off a single card. Because there are two GPUs, two full video cards basically built into this one, we can run three DVI monitors or projectors or whatever else the case may be off a single card to get this crazy gaming experience. And that is also an important part of the equation. We are using three 720p Acer 3D Ready DLP projectors. So these guys are running at full 120 hertz off their HDMI input, running off of our GTX 590 graphics card. You can see I've got them pretty ghetto mounted here because in order to get the alignments just right so that we get one continuous image I had to put like even like like one more piece of paper in this one and it just just right yeah yeah it was difficult okay and I had to use these metal racks because I didn't really have anything else in terms of mounting so that's part of the equation the next thing that's also equally important is the Nvidia 3D Vision glasses so these are active shutter glasses the price actually recently dropped on these glasses to coincide with the GTX 590 launch and they're now only 149 for the wireless version and there's actually an even cheaper wired version. So that's pretty much the GeForce 3D Vision ecosystem. You got the 3D Vision ready projector, you got the 3D Vision glasses and then of course you have the 3D Vision surround ready graphics card. Now all of the other stuff we've added to this particular gaming setup just for fun is we've got a keyboard and mouse for our FPS We've got an Xbox 360 controller for, I don't know, like third person games. We have a SciTech Aviator flight stick for flying games such as Hawks 2, which is running on the projectors right now. And last but not least, I've got a Logitech G25 racing wheel for racing games. So this is what I would consider pretty much the ultimate gaming experience.
So guys, right now we're just looking at NVIDIA Surround, okay? So we've got Hawks 2 running because I'm just finishing downloading one game in Steam. So if I launch any other Steam game, then I won't be able to complete it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the benchmark sequence. And here comes the dramatic moment because so far this hasn't looked that great. But the reality of it is we're running in a fully lit room with studio lighting in it. So yeah, it's not going to look great. So if I could get my assistant to please turn out the lights. That is more like the experience that we are talking about. So I'm going to stand up here for scale, you guys. I'm going to stand right up against the wall. That is how big it is. So let, let's measure it in arm spans, shall we? So we got one Linus arm span, okay, up to about this point. We got two Linus arm spans up to about this point. We got, ah. Three Linus arm spans up to about this point. So this is a full four Linus arm spans, which happens to be my measuring unit of the day, in width with a, by about, you know, three quarters of a Linus height. So it's about four and a half feet high. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire it into 3D mode just for giggles. I'm going to move my head so that you guys don't see that. So even with 3D vision, Hawks 2 does not miss a beat with the GTX 590. We get the full 60 FPS. Remember, 3D Vision is capped at 60 FPS, and it makes for a ridiculous gaming experience. Remember, 3D Vision can be turned on and off just by pressing the button on the IR emitter. So we're going to show you guys some gameplay from some other cool games. Stay tuned. This is going to get fun. So here we are in F1 2010. Uh, the reason we're using this game for our 3D Vision surround testing is that uh, Grid evidently wouldn't fire up for us in 3D Vision mode. So the racing experience is pretty much, well, surround gaming is pretty much built for the racing experience. It makes for a phenomenally more immersive gameplay and uh, really is quite distracting as I'm trying to tell you guys about how cool this is. I'm just going to switch to uh, cockpit mode and I'm view and I'm going to, oh wow, I invalidated my lap. Sweet. Usually C changes the camera angle, but evidently not in this game. That's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch into 3D vision mode and let you guys know what kind of an experience that delivers. Sweet. Actually this game, uh, in spite of having only a fair rating, you can see in the NVIDIA uh, display over there, actually it looks just phenomenal in 3D mode. The car really pops out and uh, I mean you've got the, th the 3D experience all the way to the outside of your peripheral vision. Literally my entire field of vision is like from here, which is the edge of that screen, to here. So it's uh, very cool. So Batman Arkham Asylum being a, an NVIDIA, uh, the way it's meant to be played title, it is fully 3D vision ready and delivers a simply stunning experience for a third person game in 3D vision, in NVIDIA surround, in whatever gameplay mode that you see fit. Because of the way the camera pans around the character, it just looks so cool. Let's see if I can figure out how to run with the controller. Oh, and I died. Yep. Now in 3D vision mode, the game is even more immersive. You can really see the bodies flying around. If you've never experienced 3D vision before, I highly recommend that for the sake of imagining how cool this actually is, you find a, a local place that has 3D vision on display. Don't forget, you can go to NCIX if you live in the GTA or the greater Vancouver area. And some of our stores do have 3D vision demos. So do check it out and then imagine what it's like except your entire field of vision is full of 3D vision goodness and kicking goons around. And of course, Crisis 2, being a recently released blockbuster title, will make for a pretty sweet NVIDIA surround and 3D vision demo. So I'm going to see if I can kill these dudes. Oh yeah, I should switch to my sidearm. Nice. 
and my health is critical already because that's how good I am at Crisis 2. Crisis 2 actually lends itself to uh, surround and 3D vision incredibly well, taking not nearly the same kind of performance hit that many titles will when you're running in 3D vision mode. That guy's a real pain if you don't kill him right away, so there we go, headshot. All right, let's switch to 3D vision mode and see if we are still getting a smooth gameplay experience because that is one of the things that I want you guys to be noting. Remember, this is an HD plus resolution gaming scenario and the GTX 590 handles all of the games that we've been looking at today flawlessly at this resolution with very high levels of detail settings. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's turn 3D back off. Just so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. So basically, the point of the different titles that we're demonstrating today is what kind of games genres is a setup like this good for? And the answer is, uh, should be fairly obvious, pretty much anything. Now, one thing that I want to tell you guys about the DLP projector setup versus using 120 hertz LCDs is that it is way better. Actually, I do not see any ghosting whatsoever because the response time of a DLP setup is better than the response time of an LCD pixel. So what that means is that I always get a great, uh, a great view of the right image in my right eye and the left image in my left eye without any bleeding or any crossing over of the incorrect image in the wrong eye. And Battlefield Bad Company 2, one of my favorite titles with one of my favorite sequences to uh, show off gameplay in. Makes for a very, very impressive NVIDIA surround gaming experience with our triple projector setup. It is also a 3D Vision ready title, which means that it works perfectly in 3D Vision and looks, whoops, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn 3D Vision on. And one of the things I believe you will observe about this particular game is that even with 3D Vision enabled, we are going to get very satisfactory experience and I will still be able to pwn the noob AI. Not that that's exactly difficult because I did set the game on easy. So thank you very much guys for checking out this NCIX Tech Tips episode with our NVIDIA 3D Vision surround projector setup. I hope this has, um, I hope this has been enlightening for those of you who are not aware that the solutions do exist that do not involve bezels. So this is the way to do it. All you need is a 20 foot wide wall in your house. And uh, you know what? The projector setup is actually not even that outlandishly expensive. You can get the projectors for around $1,500 to $2,000 for, uh, for three projectors. And then you can have this theater-like gaming experience in your own home. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more reviews, technology videos, and other good stuff. And I died.